Welcome back. Another episode of Street Fighter V. It was fun. You know, we're talking about random bullshit because, you know, that's what we do. You know, one of the earliest memories I remember playing uh, on my computer was that my uncle at the time, my uncle years ago, gave me a copy of Virtual Fighter, the first one for PC. Yeah. So somehow it worked on that piece of shit we had at home, right? Me and my sister are playing on the. Yeah. Me and my sister are playing on one keyboard on one chair. And we're just like. Ugh. Uh, but we got we made it work somehow. It was pretty fun yeah. playing on PC. It's weird. Shit, those elbows. <laughs> oh man! I remember as early as I can remember the games on the PC I used to play were that classic pinball game. Hell yeah! With that ball and ass soundtrack. Hell yeah! Oh yeah, that pinball game. That was just a preloaded the uh, space pinball yeah. or whatever. That Hell was fun. Yeah. I actually, I legit like. I know if it like they re really re released it now, I probably wouldn't play it at all. But like, I really miss Chip. That was a good game. Ah, uh, Chips Adventure, yeah, the, the Chips Challenge. Sorry. I don't think I'm aware of what that. I don't even of, know what that is. Yeah. These were, yeah. Okay, these were these were pre pre installed games that would come with Windows typically. Chips Challenge, uh, that pinball game. Uh, what the fuck else would come with it? My, well, Minesweeper, yeah, but Ski Free, yeah, that's another one. Ski Free. That's the one everyone. No, right. but anyway, anyway, Chip was about to like little dude, and it was like a maze, kind of. And you always had to find like a key to open the door to like the next level. Yeah, yeah. And it would be like, it'll, before you start the match, it would be like, well, not the match. Before you start the game, it would be like, find the blue key. And then like when you get later on, it would be like, find the blue key, then find the red key, then find this key. It was pretty much like you avoid enemies. And it's like, like some stages will have like ice panels and shit, so like you'll slide against them and stuff like that. And like, it was, it was pretty much the puzzle game. But what was else fun. was cool was that you'd pick up, like, in order to, uh, get to certain places say there was water you would need to get like fins like you need to get like swimming fins to swim right yeah yeah and if you picked up another item you lost that item that you had equipped so you had to like think about which way you were going to get the key to open up the door there's one particular stage that had like a monster like all you had to do was go into the middle right get the key and then the the door is not that far from it but there's this little monster in the middle right and that monster tracks where you're going, so you have to think about how to outsmart it. It's a really cool game for the time, I have to say. It's a, it was a nice little thing to have on it. <clears throat> You'll never outrun that Yeti in Ski Free, though. That thing was fucking a single part of you. No one truly wins that game. Damn. No one ever, you know, one ever went Ski Free. No. I was I was trying so hard to give for the new one. Yeah, I noticed that. And like, I gave, I gave, I fucking did the grab that knocks him straight to the ground. I like you when you, uh, when Fred like threw you down to the ground, like that fucking like wait, like waitress like fell with you. <laughs> yeah. I, don't even, I don't even, I don't even pay attention. You guys never played Chips Challenge, huh? No. Well, except that. Man, wow. shit, I used to spend hours on that shit. You know what? I actually, I went out of my way to. I should, I could send it to you guys if you wanted it, but I have Roller Coaster Tycoon. I had to go out of my way to find the original game because no one sells it. Good old games doesn't have it. Steam doesn't have it. Like, I my disc doesn't work anymore. But it's the entirety, all the expansion and everything for uh, the original Roller Coaster Tycoon for PC. That game is fun, like a lot of fun. What you guys that, are. Uh... I never played Roller Coaster Tycoon. Oh man, you just you build your own theme park. It's what it's was that uh, old website? Like they used to advertise it a lot back in the day. Since we're talking about like older games, you can't get a hold of anymore. That like you can like go on this website and play like all their like old school games and like you know like classic Street Fighter and shit for like a subscription fee. Ah oh, damn, I know what you're talking about too. I don't know. I actually ah. don't. I mean, used to like advertise it all the time. Like the only shit. sites that I used to play free games like that on was like actually Nickelodeon. Funny enough, I used to play that SpongeBob game where you ah. like you flip patties and stuff. Fuck out! You gotta do it fast yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah, one round. Yeah, there you go, Fred. There you go. Fred knew the that entire. Newgrounds. Newgrounds is another one. Fred knows the entire. Oh, I remember back. I remember back in the day in the Newgrounds, they had a, all those like crappy ass like Sonic Flash like games. That were like, oh, let's, let's rip the sprite from like Sonic Advance and throw it in and make our own game. And it was crap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They did that. yeah. They were crap. And I fucking hated them. But as a child, I was fucking like interested and I played it and I'm like, ew, bitch. Well, that's because we didn't know any better. <laughs> oh, God. There's Jenny dying of allergies over there. Nine, nine dogs over there, man. No dogs. Yeah, one of the best you weren't expecting to walk up grab. One of the best things, things in this game. 
Good. Good. Trying to use that trackpad for the NES. Trackpad? Yeah, you know, you'd run. you run on it. The, the pad. Oh, right. I just, like, I remember us trying to use it, and it was just such a pain in the ass to actually, uh... You know what was weird about that pad, too? It was, like, one player and first player and second player were, like, the same mat. So you had to be, like, really close to the person you were, like, competing against. Yeah, you did. I'm surprised it doesn't break when you stomp yeah. up. That thing was adorable, man. Like, holy shit. I remember the first time I played on this thing, I was like, yeah. They're like, you just run on that. I was like, bullshit. I wonder what ever happened to the <laughs> one we had. Huh. The what? I always wondered what happened to the one we had. We used to have, oh. like, a lot of video games and, like, accessories and stuff. But over the years, they just <laughs> got... I guess oh. they broke or they... Oh. Disappeared. oh my god. Yeah, in case you're wondering, Jeff, Fred just won. I guess yeah. Jeremy, so he's oh, lost. nice. I mean, I always knew, I always knew that Fred was good and Jeremy was a punk right, bitch. I'm done. This is cements it. It's over. No, no, you still got one more. Time to go play Monster Hunter. Nah, nah, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. exciting moments, playing Street Fighter 2 on my Genesis was pretty fun back in the day. <laughs> playing what? I played, uh, oh, well, over at friend's house, I played Street Fighter 2 on his Genesis. Did you, did you, did you have, like, the three-button controller? You had to press start? Yeah, no, it was a three-button controller. No, I didn't even know to press start to change things. I just, I just mashed you, buttons. You just assumed everyone just had, like, this punch. Just... <laughs> yeah, I, well, how, how would I know, you know? There was no manual or anything. I just played. It was just there. Well, my young mind was like, I could kick in the arcade, but I can't do this here. So I See, I didn't play it in the arcade beforehand. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, if I did, I don't remember, you know? My That's earliest cool, uh... arcade memory is, like, Marvel vs. Capcom 1. Is that, like, a counter? Yeah. Bro, I used to go to, uh... That's cool. My mom okay. was, like, part of a bowling league, so I used to go to Finnegan's a lot. And right, play, like, Let me explain this to Fred real quick, since he doesn't play Street Fighter Fallout enough. If you hold back, and then you hit all, like, for Ryu, I think it's all punches, and you, like, like it, for on the controller, it would be L1. Um, and you hit forward, like, if you're blocking, and you, and you hit, um... You're holding back, and then you hit forward and L1. You'll do their V reversal, which is the counter. Uh, uh, okay, that's that thing. Okay, I got it. But you need you need the you need <laughs> yeah the V trigger. Okay. Well, not the full V trigger. But... No, I don't, I don't think I see you guys use it much, but I do remember you guys explain. It. Oh, hey. I just yeah, did... you have parries. How do I, how do I parry again? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Old, old okay, medium, forgot. old medium. Button. Forgot about that. Actually. You know, it was the place that, well, Matt went there. I don't know about you guys, but did you guys go to Fuzzies? Because I used to go there, and there was all sorts of arcade games you couldn't yeah, I remember play anywhere that. else. That's where I played Sonic the Fighters. Yeah. You know, okay, can I, can I say something real quick? Quick, quick shout out to Fuzzies. Fuck you guys for fucking having a separate arcade. For having a separate arcade for fucking birthday people. You know, that's why you guys are out of business, fuckers. Anyway. Damn. Oh, Matt's a second. Those machines bro, were free. He had, he had, like, the best games on the other side. And, like, it was only for, like, birthday parties and shit. It was so fucking dumb. <laughs> well, they were paying. Me and, my, me and my dad, like, walked in there, like, not knowing it was for that. And we started playing all these games. And they were, like, well, they were, like, free. Like, you didn't have to put money in it because, you you know, you pay an admission fee to get in there. And we were like, we, me and my dad were playing like the X Men, the X Men arcade machine, the one for the six players. Yeah. The one where they re released, whatever. And then we were like having so much fun. This guy like walks up to us and like rolls up our sleeves to check if we have like a wristband, or whatever. He is like, you can't be in here. You know, the wristbands. And, you know, me being like eight, nine years old at the time, I was like, Daddy, why is this man touching me? Like, <laughs> you guys, this is why you guys are out of business. Fucking asshole. <laughs> Damn, that's Actually, that's I wonder people. why they did go out of business. Because they yeah. suck and they're in a stupid location. I ready up, fool. No, 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 don't ready up yet. Anyway, because we're about at the 10 minute mark. We will fucking, I'll continue this on the next rant. This Street Fighter 5, next episode, whatever. That. I love that. That's great. I, it. I didn't know you were that upset about it. Bro, that was so, no, no, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until we start recording again. Hold on. <laughs>